welcome to my channel so today i am going to be unboxing and trying on the products from my stitch fix for september of 2022. now if you're unfamiliar with stitch fix they are a clothing styling service that can be like a subscription so i get mine bi-monthly so every other month you can get it monthly i think you can get it at more random frequencies than that maybe quarterly or so and essentially um, you have a stylist who helps pick out items so you have a profile that you fill out where you talk about the things that you like and then for each fix you can put in the notes of things that you want so as we're going into fall I could say I'd like some sweaters I like some jackets I think that's what I said for for this specific box um, now you do pay a $20 styling fee per box or you can pay $49 for the year, which is what I do because I know I'm gonna get it frequently enough that that is gonna help me save money. Um, you get the items sent to you. So they send you a, a fix preview where you can pick up to five of the items. And then if you only pick like three, they'll pick two more for you. Um, so you can kind of have an idea of what you want to see. You can also just not do that if you want to be surprised. Um, and then you get to try the clothes on from the comfort of your own home. Keep what you want and send back what you don't. Um, I believe the shipping is with USPS. Now, it's been a few months since I've done this. Maybe four months because I skipped one of them because I was out of the country. Um, so we're getting it again. Now, I do, have, I do pay for this with my own money. I'm not working with them or anything like that. I do have just the general referral link where if you sign up through my code, you get $25 in credit if you go all the way through the process. And then I would also get $25 in credit if you do that. And if you do that, thank you so much because it definitely helps me keep being, being able to unbox this box. Now, normally I shout out the people that have signed up with my box, but it has been so long since I've done that, like the last video that I don't really, I don't think anybody has signed up. I'm not really sure, but let's jump inside. If you're new to my channel, welcome or welcome back. My name is Katrina and I am a sub box lover. I love to share subscription boxes with all of you sub box lovers out there. So if you like subscription boxes, unboxing, boxing videos, fashion videos, things like that, make sure that you give this video a thumbs up and make sure that you're subscribed and hit the notification bell so that you don't miss out on a future upload. <laughs> So it comes in a box like this. When you open it up, that is what it looks like. So you do get the mailer that is prepaid to return. It is through the USPS. Um, so I tend to just drop it right off at the post office. You also get an envelope with the paperwork inside. So you get two different things. One of them shows you um, how to style things and has your note from the stylist on how to style it. And then you also get information here. I'm not gonna show it because it has my address and everything. Um, everything that you received and the retail value um, if you buy everything, you do get a 25% off discount. So that's just something to keep in mind. All right. This is the little preview of the things in this month's fix. So first off, I'm going to just kind of go through everything, hold it up, talk about it, talk about the retail price, and then we will do the try on portion of the video. So the very first thing that I'm pulling out is a shirt, it's just a basic shirt from Market and Spruce. This is their Elaine pocket short sleeve shirt in dark gray. Everything that I received is size small and this retails for $28. Now it is a basic, but what I will say is this feels very, very nice for a basic. This does not feel cheap. Like the fabric feels really, really nice. It does have a pocket. I don't have a lot of pocketed tees. So I actually kind of like it. It's very soft and comfy. It is just a little basic. This is not one of the things that I picked from my fix preview, but it feels really nice. It's 95% rayon and 5% spandex which I don't know if I love that combo. I like more cotton stuff, but it looks like it could be cute. So we'll try it on. All right, up next we have some plaid action. And this is the, from again, from Market and Spruce, but this is the Maeve Cozy Boyfriend. I don't know, it cuts off. So after that, it cuts off. This is in white size small and this retails for $44. I will list everything that I got down in the description box below in case you see one of these things, you might be able to request it from your stylist. What I wanna say first of all is this is buttery soft. This feels so soft and smooth. Now normally when something is this soft, I would wonder how good it would wash, but I think this would wash just fine. Um, it's really, really cute, nice little plaid super cozy it's got the little pocket i don't know if i love these colors for me that's my only thing it has like a light blue and a green i don't know we'll have to try it on um it feels like this is so soft i don't think i've ever had a plaid that feels this soft i mean it feels like i just want to curl up in it it's so soft all right up next we have a little sweater and this is the 
Pink Clover Alicia Textured Long Sleeve and Taupe, size small, and this retails for $46. This is really nice. It's kind of got a chunky knit to it, though. I don't know if I like how chunky the knit is. Um, I feel like, yeah, it's a little see-through. Like, you see, you can see my hand. So this might be a sweater you would have to wear. Uh, probably have to wear a tank top with this, which probably means I'm not going to get this because while layering can be great, I don't want to have to layer to wear a top, if that makes sense. But it's cute. It's soft. I just, I'm not a huge fan of like those super chunky things where you can see through. I'm going to be honest. I, I, I think that was in my fixed preview, but I'm like, I don't remember what I did, but I'm not remembering half of this, but who knows? The next thing out is this here. And I don't like it. I'm gonna be honest. I do. Not, I don't like it. It's not for me. It's not bad. Um, but I can already tell you, I'm not gonna like it. This is also from Market and Spruce. It's here, but it's listed as mixed by 41 Hawthorne Calon brushed and not the Market and Spruce Calon brushed in dark purple. Um, this is forty-two dollars. Has a hood. This is just not my personal style. If you've got that sporty style, it's great. This is super soft. It feels super soft and light. Um, I just, I know me. It's just, I would never spend $42 on that. That seems kind of expensive for it. It feels nice. Oh, it does have like a like thing you can put your pockets in. I do question how well this one will wash just based on the fabric. It's hard to tell on screen, but this does have that kind of thing where I feel like it could kind of get a little fuzzy. Um, but still cute if that's your vibe. I do like the dark purple color for like fall, you know? All right, and then last but not least, we have this sweater here. Um, this is the RD Style Laverne 4th Point Tell Sweater in white, size small for $74. This is not white though. Okay, I mean, this is a light gray. They call it white, but to, that's not white, that's gray. Um, for $74. Now that's kind of expensive. It is a little bit more stylish, but I'm like, I don't know. Hopefully I don't love it because I don't want to spend $74 on it. It does have pretty big sleeves. It feels really soft. Everything feels really soft and nice. So that's everything in my fix. I did ask for tops. I did ask for fall tops in my notes, so that's why it's pretty much all tops. I don't know if, they, I'll be honest, I don't think there's anything in here that I feel very excited about right now. Like, there's nothing here that I'm like, I have to have it just from looking at it. So I don't know if I'm a little bummed by that, but we're gonna see what it looks like on. All right, so this is top number one, the gray shirt. I actually think it's really, really cute on. I think the price is actually pretty reasonable. I don't know if I'm gonna get it. It's like, do I need it? Is kind of the question. I, I'm i not sure. It's for 28 bucks, I actually don't think it's horrible. So I'm more likely to get this than some of the $40 tops. But I'm not like, I don't know. I don't think I own a top like this, which is why I like the dark gray. This might look cute with a little flannel thrown on top or a jacket. Um, the piece that I don't know if I like is the pocket. I'm not really a pocket tee kind of gal. Um, cause if it didn't have the pocket, I could like put it under a blazer. I guess I still technically could. So not mad at it. I think it's just cute. It's just a little basic. All right. So up next we have the flannel. This is what it looks like. I kind of kept it like unbuttoned pretty low. Cause I personally like that kind of look. It is so comfortable. And I actually think that it's really cute. Now, I don't like the colors for me. I don't know why. Like it's definitely pretty, but this is, I don't, this is not the, I like, I'm not, I don't know. I don't know. I just don't like the colors. I wish it was like browns <laughs> or blacks or oranges or some, something more like, I don't know. I don't, I don't love the colors. It's really comfy, cute. It's because it's a little oversized. You could wear like a tank under it and leave it unbuttoned too. And I think it'd be really cute. It is so cozy, but I don't know. I'm like, I, I'm not in the like, I want to spend money mood right now. <laughs> so I'm like, man, I don't really know about any of this. All right. Up next. <laughs> I don't like it. If it didn't have these, I feel like it would actually not be bad, like, or darker ones, but there's just, it makes it look way, I don't know. It's got a hood. So you can wear the hood. It just is not my style. I probably would have loved this in like high school, <laughs> but it's just not really my style anymore. It's very comfy and cozy, but I already knew this was a no and nothing has changed. Okay, so I actually like the way that this looks on, but again, you can see my bra through it. Um, and again, it's, I don't know, this, I'm not a fan of this. It just feels very basic and boring. Like this doesn't feel like fashion to me. I love getting stuff in boxes that like pushes me out of my comfort zone and everything here is like, meh. 
I could go to Target and buy it for half the price. I don't know. That's how, or Walmart or where, you know what I mean? It's just like, I just, I don't know. I'm not feeling, like this might be my favorite thing so far. Well, I know the gray shirt I like better than this. I don't know. It's not bad. All right, up next we have this. Now to me, this is the most interesting thing that I've tried on today. And I like it, but I'm not gonna buy it for $72 and I'll tell you why. Now, first of all, I, I think this is fun. You know, you can kind of wear it down like this. Zipped up, it looks, I don't know. I don't like the way that that looks on me zipped up. I'm not gonna lie. Um, it feels very comfortable, but I can tell that this is a type of sweater that feels comfortable, but also might start to feel itchy after some time. So I think it's cute. What I do not like, it has a different material here. So it comes in and it's like tighter here. And so it's creating this kind of like thing here and it's making me look like I have a belly. Like it's giving me that like a little bit of a pooch moment going on. Maybe I have one, but it's like, it's accentuating like, I don't know, it's just making that space look bulky. And then a top like this, like if you're wearing a hoodie, that's fine. That's what a hoodie, like a hoodie is supposed to look baggy. But this is like, I don't know. This is probably the coolest thing in here, like the most like interesting and different, but I don't know. I don't know. All right, back for final thoughts. I feel very meh and bored by this box. Nothing in it was bad. Like, well, I didn't love the grape stripey top or the dark purple one. I didn't, that wasn't for me. Now I know that could look cute on other people and other people would be into that. None of it was bad. Like all of it was fine, but it's all like boring. And like basic and boring is okay. But it's like, I already have stuff like that in my wardrobe. I want something fun. Like, push me out of my comfort zone. I don't feel like Citrix does a very good job at that. So this is like, eh, not my favorite Stitch Fix. She gave me what I asked for, I guess, because I asked for like fall tops, but I'm not excited. The only thing that I'm somewhat tempted by is that dark gray top but I like, I don't know. I don't know if it's worth it for me to get that, if I'll ever wear it, you know what I mean? It's like, yeah, I can get a gray top like that at any time, that's not a big deal. So definitely let me know your thoughts down in the comments below. What did you think of the September Stitch Fix that I received? Obviously everybody else receives a different box. I've had amazing Stitch Fix boxes, so it's definitely just depends. But for me, I just, I don't know if it's just me today, but I just was not loving that fix. I don't think I'm going to get anything, but let me know. Would you have kept something? Should I have kept something? I would love to hear your thoughts down in the comments below. Again, if you are interested in trying out Stitch Fix, I do have that referral link where you can get $25 in credit if you sign up all the way through. If you like this video, give it a thumbs up and make sure that you're subscribed and hit the notification bell so you don't miss out on a future upload. And I'll see you in my next video.